Welcome back, we are here looking at the energy market. This is gonna be my daily forecast for Friday, May 20th, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're gonna hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and, uh, and, uh, and portfolio are available in the link down below, the eToro link. So let's get to it and we'll start by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, we did rally from the 50 moving average. And uh, as long as that is the case, we are basically in this uh, bullish channel or basically forming a bullish channel here. Of the highs at this current stage of 115. And we have here the lower part of this channel forming and we did not test the lower part here. We bounced from the 50 moving average. So we may see this uh, if we can drop down here and bounce and then we may go towards roughly 120 if we manage to break above 115. If we, if we also break above here, then we have 116, which should be also an area of, uh, of, uh, of re resistant. And uh, breaking above that, then we are looking at the highs here of uh, the beginning of, of March this year, when we basically went all the way up towards $130. Uh, breaking below uh, this channel, then we may go test the lows here of 95, 93, and then the 200 moving average will come down to, into play at, uh, 50, at 85. If we look at technical energy, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So world economy is kind of um, stalling at the moment, and stagflation is 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 uh, most likely what is going to happen in in the long term. We'll see, we'll see lower growth, higher unemployment, and uh, and uh, increasing inflation. And the lower growth um, will basically destroy demand. So overall, in the long term, um, energy markets will take a hit due to demand destruction. Uh, so we may see this continue for a while, but the next probably um, three to, to, uh, to uh, six months, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw uh, oil trading significantly lower at this time. At this point, it is at the problem at the moment. Demand is still there, and um, storages are very low, so so supply is very low. So that is basically what is creating these higher prices uh, that we are seeing. And of course, the war in Eastern Europe. If you look at um, at uh, natural gas, we can see that we got really really rejected right here at eight point five. We did pull back towards the 7.9, rallied up towards uh, 8.5, give or take, and then just fell apart. Lost roughly half a dollar within only a few, um, only a few minutes. And uh, at this current stage, technical indicators are turning around. So we may see this market tested the uh, 20 simple moving average yet again at the uh, 7.6. Dropping below that, that opens the door to the 50 moving average at 6.5. And that is also probably as far as this market will go. We did see um, a test of this level of 6.4 only a few days ago. And it is basically also these double tops here that will come into play. Breaking below the 50, that opens the door to these two highs of roughly 5.5. And the 200 moving average at the 5.1 and that is probably at the bottom, bottom of this this market so expectation is that demand for natural gas will increase uh, and uh, due to the fact that russian gas is not uh, as available as it has been and therefore prices will continue rising and as long as people are buying the dip at the 20 simple moving average and the 50 they will most likely also continue increasing. So, hope you find it helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck. And thank you very much.